ascending up the ladder. Ascending up the ladder. Come up higher. Climb up higher. Attain to that high calling in Christ Jesus. In this message, we want to briefly examine Jacob's ladder. This is very, very, for those who, who, read, who read the Bible a lot, this is a very common story. We know how Jacob slept and suddenly overnight he sees a ladder reaching up into heaven. See, and he sees the Lord God himself upon the ladder at the pinnacle, at the top of the ladder, and he sees angels ascending and descending this ladder. Praise God. And those of us who don't know this, let us quickly read this. I'm going to start from Genesis chapter 28. Genesis chapter 28, verse 10. I'll start from verse 10. And Jacob went out from Beersheba and went towards Haran and lighted up a certain place and carried there all night because the sun was set and he took of the stones of the place and put them for his pillow and lay down in that place to sleep and he dreamed and behold a ladder set up on the earth and on top of it reach that the top of it to reach to heaven and behold the angels of God ascending and descending on it and behold the Lord stood above it and said I am the Lord God of Abraham thy father the God of Isaac the land where thou liest you know to thee will I give it unto thy seed and thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth, praise God, and thou shalt spread abroad to the west and to the east and to the north and to the south, and in thee and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. And behold, I am with thee, and I will keep thee in all places where thou goest, and will bring thee again into this land, and I will not leave thee until I have done that which I have spoken of thee. Praise God. And Jacob, I'm reading from verse 16, and Jacob awaked out of his sleep and he said, Surely the Lord is in this place. And I knew it not. And he was afraid and said, How dreadful is this place? This is not other than the house of God and this is the gate of heaven. Oh, praise God. And Jacob rose up early in the morning and took the stone that he had put for his pillar and set it up for a pillar. Hallelujah. And poured oil upon it and he called the name of the place Bethel. Bethel. But the name of the city was called Luz at the first. Bethel means house of God. Now let's stop there. I just want us to understand that, you know, all these visions that people like Jacob had, people like Joseph had, were actually visions laid in store for God's elect. Because whether we like it or not, or whether we realize it or not, the things of God don't change. They remain unchangeable throughout all eternity. So what we just read is actually things that pertain to Christ. Things that pertain to the, our glorification. Jesus Christ will come on the scene later on and say, You will see, the time comes when you will see angels 
ascending and descending on the Son of Man. Praise God. And this is what is happening today. Our eyes are opening and we are beginning to discern and understand this ladder that leads back to the Lord. Because Jacob here sees a ladder from the earth that reaches the heaven. And on top of the ladder in heaven, he sees the Lord. And he sees angels ascending and descending on this ladder. Praise God. This vision that Jacob saw is something that occurs all the time. It's something that occurs all the time. If your eyes are open, you begin to see a ladder reaching up to heaven. You see angels descending from that ladder and angels ascending that ladder. Hallelujah. Praise God. And you see that angels are none other than instances of the Lord himself. See, because the Lord himself is a composite body of my rights. My rights that live solely on the name of the Lord. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. See, if you look at the the vision of the Alpha and the Omega, remember John himself, John the Apostle had to be taken up into heaven to see the Lord appearing as the Alpha and the Omega. So you notice that the door was opened in heaven and John entered into heaven. He had to, he heard the voice saying, come up here. And he entered into heaven and saw the Lord. You see, and the revelation we get of the Lord of hosts, the Lord of glory, who says that I am the beginning, I am the end, I am the Alpha and Omega? The revelation we have of the Lord is that the Lord Himself is a composite body of my rights, a multi member body, hallelujah, of my rights that speak in one accord, in one, that live in one harmony, in one accord. Hallelujah. That is why the voice. Well fought as the voice of many waters. These are people who are harmonized in the name of the Lord, walk in the name of the Lord. Praise God. It's a composite body of saints, angels, redeemed spirits. Hallelujah. They're all the same thing. Sons of God that live in the glory of God, live by the name of the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's a wonderful thing. So that's important we understand these things. Hallelujah. Whenever the Lord appears, the Lord manifests himself through a messenger, through an angel. And an, an angel is actually an integral part of the Lord himself. See, an angel doesn't have a being of his own, doesn't have an identity of his own. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. See, every man you see upon this earth, it's an instance of the living God. You see, what happens is that when the angel descends that ladder and comes down to the earth, what happens is that you see a man. See, when the angel descends from that high ladder and comes to the earth, he appears as a man in material form. See, and at times he put on the, the nature, the weaknesses of the flesh. The temptations. See, but when he ascends back, hallelujah, he ascends back into the Lord. See, Jesus Christ knew that he came out of the Lord. He knew he came out of that, the Lord who stands upon, you know, the circle of the earth, the one who was on top of the ladder. Jesus Christ says, I know where I come from and I know where I'm going. I came out of the Father and I'm going back to the Father. Father, glorify me with the glory I had with you before I descended into this world. I go to the Father. See, Jesus Christ descended that ladder and became a man. Who praise God, hallelujah. And at the, what do you call it, the fullness of time. See, the fullness of time has to come in everybody's ears, in everybody's comprehension when you know it is time for you to return back to your glory. 
Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. So Jesus Christ's ascension is actually, he, has, he, he climbs that ladder back into the glory of the Father, into the Lord. Praise God. When, in, when we ascend up that ladder, there is only one up there, which is the Lord. So when we descend, then we have different nations, different tongues, different, you know, ideas, different convictions. You see, and you have the worries, and you have the, the corruption, and you have, you see, a total deviation from the nature of God. We, we, we become terrestrial, earthly creatures. Oh, hallelujah, praise God. So, God today is opening our eyes. We are seeing this great vision. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ says, I am the way. Hallelujah. I am the gate of heaven. I am the door of heaven. I am the way. And today, we are seeing that way. God is revealing this mystery to every man. So that every man can know how he can return back to his first state. Hallelujah. Which is that state upon the ladder, which is the, the Lord of hosts himself. Hallelujah. Praise God. How many of us realize that when a man ascends, it is the Lord that appears. Our ascension occurs by awakening. See, we begin to awaken and climb up that ladder by faith. Hallelujah. We're hearing the voice today say, Come up here, my sons. Come up here into a higher realm. Come up here into the name of the Lord. Come up here. Hallelujah. And, you know, walk once more in that perfect, immaculate nature that you had see, before this world was. Praise God. So that is the, the reason Jacob saw that vision. Hallelujah. God is again revealing to us what awaits every man, our real recompense, our, our great reward. God is revealing to us today, see our crown of glory, how that the Lord, the Father is our inheritance. The life of the Father, which is eternal life, is our inheritance. So we have to ascend up. Hallelujah. Praise God. And those of us who ascend, they can also become life givers to other brethren who are dispersed upon the earth. Praise God. Because we are the same messengers who act as, you know, interfaces of God upon the earth manifesting, announcing, announcing this good news to every child or every creature that has suffered pain and sorrow and distress. Every creature that has suffered the pains of hell can once more, you know, return back to his glory on hearing these glad tidings. Notice that it is the angels that announce the glad tidings. It is the angels that sound the trumpet. It is the angels that declare the everlasting gospel. That is why John in the book of Revelation sees an angel flying in the heavens announcing the everlasting gospel. Praise God. These are those who have ascended on high. Praise God. Comprehended this mystery of God descended and, and you know come to deliver their brethren who are in the bodies of corruption. Jesus Christ says that at the end time, that's the, the end of the age, the close of this dark age, God will send his angels to gather his elect from the four corners of the earth. And that is what we are doing today. That is what we are hearing today. As you hear this message, God is sending his messengers, his angels, praise God, to gather from the earth, his elect. Hallelujah. See, those who have been dispersed to the uttermost parts of the earth, into the depths of hell, those who are languishing, languishing in the deep, see, the ministers descend on that ladder to get them back up. To announce to them, to illumine them once more and cause them 
to ascend back into their glory in God. See it? I am the way, the truth, and the life. The Father is revealing to us the mystery of our identity, true identity that has been hidden from us in our fall, in our ignorance, we've walked as mere mortals, as creatures of the dust. We've walked ignorance of, you know, of the bountiful, illimited, unlimited form that we have. Ah, praise God, hallelujah. Because we are pure spirit. And in that high state of consciousness, which is the, the father consciousness, we begin to understand that all things are ours. We begin to rest. We don't begin to fight and wrestle anymore. So we don't begin to worry anymore. We don't begin to fret anymore because we know that all things have been given to us. All things are ours by, by virtue of our awakening to reality. Praise God. So let us recognize that ladder. Precept by precept. Faith by faith. Hallelujah. Patiently climbing and going ever higher into God's realm. Exercising ourselves in the mystery right now. See it? Because before now, we were ignorant of the fact that we would bear the nature, the very attributes of Him that stands upon the ladder. Hallelujah. But thank God, the angel is sounding today. And when the angel sounds, we come back to our senses. We begin to hear once more. When the angel sounds, we begin to recognize once more that our life is the life of the Father. The angel is bringing remembrance to us. Hallelujah. This is the only way we can escape the fears and the horrors of this world. The fear of death. See, when the body begins to ache, begins to grow old, and things begin to change around us, at times people get worried. People are scared. People are scared to die. Praise God. The people are scared to leave things behind. People are worried about a loved one who died. People are worried of somebody of of you know about trying to save others out there. See, but when we begin to hear the truth, we are comforted. It says that the Spirit will give you comfort. He is the comforter. Praise God. The Spirit will illumine you once more into that identity that you truly are. An identity that can never pass away. An identity that stands forever upon that ladder in the heavens, which is the identity of the Lord. The Lord is our life. The Lord is our great recompense. Praise God. It will mean that I begin to exercise myself in godliness. I begin to walk as the Lord upon the earth, living aside my earthly passions, living aside greed, ambition, living aside, see it, all the, you know, human attributes I picked up and beliefs I picked up in this world, all those religious beliefs that, you know, sounded so precious to me, I have to let go of them. See, because the angel or the messenger who comes from above does not come to teach you of prayer methods. He does not come to teach you, you know, about healing methods. He doesn't come to teach you about marriage theories. He does not come to teach you about, you know, raising families. Or about, he never comes to teach you about earthly things. Rather, he comes to reveal to you something precious that has been from eternity. And we are called to walk in that thing that is eternal. We are called to ascend back, come up either, climb up that ladder back into your identity, which is the Lord. Hallelujah. When the angel attains to that high calling, which is ascension onto the top of the ladder, he rediscovers himself back in the Lord, in the place of the I am. He says, Where I am is where my servants will be. Where I am, in the Lord, living in Him, abiding in Him, 
is where we are when we ascend this ladder patiently. First of all, recognizing the Lord as our life. The Lord is my life, praise God, and ascending to partake of that life. This is the will of God for us, for every man today. Hallelujah. Look up, never allowing our treasures to be upon the earth, but rather recognizing that all that we ever seek, our desires and everything lies in that one that is above all. The one upon the ladder. Hallelujah. If any man can ascend, he inherit all things. All sorrow passes away. Say it. And you rule over all. Hallelujah. That is the hope of our calling. Every man who has the ear to hear knows that that is his great reward. That is your reward. Hallelujah. And as we do this, you can see the Lord gives a colored language here. When he gives the promises to, to Jacob, he says, Your seed shall inherit all the earth. And I want us to understand that that seed speaks about the Christ. See, as human beings, we cannot inherit anything. As flesh and blood, we cannot inherit anything. See, our toiling and laboring in this outer world to gather unto ourselves the glories of this material age actually have no eternal value. That which has eternal value is our ability to recognize the Christ in us which is actually nested in the Father. So because Christ and the Father are one. Christ is simply an instance of God manifesting in this world. Christ is God. Praise God. Hallelujah. So it says your seed, the promise, Says that your seed shall what inherit all these places. See, it doesn't say that the meek shall inherit the earth. The meek is not someone who is just, you know, religiously humble. We're talking of the man of the spirit, which is the Lord Himself. The Lord inherits all things. All things are the Lord's. Hallelujah. The earth and the fullness thereof belongs to the Lord. The earth and the fullness thereof. Everything, if finally upon the seas, everything, every element underneath the sea, upon the sea, upon the earth, every element in the heavens, everything what's seen and unseen belongs to the Lord. Praise God. Whether we like it or not, try to secure it as much as you want, try to tie it down as much as you want, try to, you know, tag it with your name as much as you want, you will discover that it's the Lord. And for the Lord's law. So, so the seed, your seed, this is your seed, shall inherit all things. Hallelujah. That is the, the, the Christ seed. It's all about awakening to know the spiritual essence that we are. Because we are pure spirit, pure spiritual beings. Learning once more to walk as God. Our ascension back into the Father. It's all about hearing and walking in the truth, conforming ourselves to the truth. See, no, no more conforming ourselves to this world, but transforming ourselves in the mind. See, and as we transform ourselves in the mind, we begin to have the wings of the eagle. We begin to ascend higher, higher and higher into that infinite life that is God. Praise God. I hope you've enjoyed this message. See, the Father gives us this message to, this kind of message is to strengthen us in the faith. See it. To remind us constantly. See, in the message, you know, to the fifth church, which is the church is mean. See, the Bible says, strengthen the things which are about to die. See, remember how thou hast heard. Remember how you have heard. The words of prophecy. Remember how you have heard the things of the Spirit. See, let these things steer you up. Let these things strengthen you in the faith. Let these things, you know, cause you to inherit. See it. Make sure that you don't lose your reward. See. 
stir up yourself and you know continue on say it and you will realize this thing in its fullness in due season god bless you amen